Hello YouTube, the Blind Wizard here, and... Ooh, what's this? A note from Joey! At this point, I should probably just do like a, a Blue's Clues skit, where I'm just like, do, 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 do. I just got a note. I just got a note. I just got a note. Wonder what Joey has to say. Dun, 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 dun. Dear Blind Wizard, Sorry that you got called back later than usual, but since you did two Murder Farce episodes in a row, I was also busy doing other stuff. So you doing more than you had to caused me to give you a break from Dawn to Dawn for a week. But now that means if you're going to do the next episode, you're technically a week behind. Just know that you might have to come back in before next week to get caught up. Joey, no problem there, man. If I have to come back in before next Thursday to get caught up, it's a single episode. He had worse problems with level two cheat and slime ages ago when I was not hired onto this channel. So I don't mind coming back to do another one before next Thursday. It's fine. It's fine. Besides. Yeah. Well, I should probably. Hmm. Okay, so we're at episode six. The last episode threw my heart into chaos. The, this, this, my swirling emotions. My goodness. I am just a wizard who needs glasses to see and has to remind myself about magic that this awesome wand delivers. Of course my, my, my emotional state was going to be all over the place. That last episode was, woo, in terms of, yay, no, no, come on, yes, ha, 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 no, wait, what? You know, I'll, I'll, that was my mental state last, last episode, and I'm referring to episode five. Because I'm week, a week behind. So this is we're going into episode 6. And so next time you see me here will be the post-episode discussion. And Iabra Cadabra. Okay, post-episode discussion time. Um, so since I recorded the actual episode and you seen this there was a jump of a couple hours um so i'm letting you know now that um it's been at least a little bit since i seen the episode and not immediately after like usual because i was in a rush to get somewhere but that was a pretty good episode um still not fully convinced on ira it's nice to know her name is ira she seems like she's gonna become like a mainstay like another side character if she's in the opening um i don't know how i feel it's still like last episode is still fresh in my mind and the way she was acting this episode um i did not realize she was that egotistical that she would she was that delusional she thought the cru crucifix that was given to her was an actual one when in reality it was just a lighter what? And like her attitude, I can't believe she roped her friends into that. I I still can't believe that. Which is funny because Momo like threw them off of her, but like they chose to be there, so and they were trying to hold her down, even though they weren't fully believing their friend was like seeing all these things that she was seeing. And she didn't even put it together that the 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 yokai the spirit was nothing to do with momo like uh, it was a giant misunderstanding but it went bigger because of her grandeur of a delusion man i mm. and what's crazy is since i was a week behind and uh i had i had stuff to worry about that uh i was not available to do that last week but now I can go right into episode 7 to finish off this this mini arc of sorts. Which may or may not end the episode after it, you know? Um, 
What else about the episode? Uh, I was surprised that Turbo Granny was actually helping us. I can't believe that she's able to use the ability of the cat that she is possessing, which is a cat that usually brings good fortune. But I guess it makes sense because she's a yokai. And if she is a real thing possessing the cat, then maybe she has the ability of the cat, which is basically, I guess, good luck. Good fortune. I'm going to keep an eye on you now, Turbo Granny. Inside that cat. Hmm. Hmm. I still don't know how I feel about Turbo Granny and that cat. I was not expecting it to be like that, you know? Hmm. Well, we'll see how this goes. Um, so basically where we're going from here is we have to fight this, this spirit that just wants someone to call them mommy? I, I, I guess? Did the spirit really think that it was Ira's mom? Was it, was it actually her mom? Uh, we'll find out next episode, I'm sure. Find out next time. <laughs> find out next time. Uh, so we'll, we'll just have to see about that. And whether or not Ira, like, gets redeemed. Like, I know she's gonna be a main character. The opening literally shows her. It's a matter of, okay, make her apologize to Okaroon. And, like, maybe to Momo? I don't know. This is a thing where it's like, will both of them accept her as a friend? Will she finally realize her delusions are insane? Will she get humbled? I don't know. I don't even know if I, like, I can find it in myself. Because I hate to say this, but Joey had a podcast uploaded on a very similar situation about um like thinking you know crushes romance and all that stuff so the episode is gonna hit him really hard because it was close to home it felt personal so it's not like vegeta where the redemption well he's also there's a lot of episodes between vegeta coming to earth and dying at the hands of Frieza. There's like a lot of time there, right? Yeah. But it's one of those cases where it's like, this is a very, it feels like a very personal thing. Like a lot of people, not just me, are not liking Ira, I'm sure. So, and I'm sure, you know, the people that have read Dawn to Dawn are like, yeah, well, you know, give, give her time. And I'm just like, how were you when you first read the series? You were just like us. So I don't really have anything else to add. Um, just that episode 7 will be coming out <laughs> sooner. Only because this one was late. So, yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. If you hit, liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, share the video with a friend, join my Patreon. Those are where they get uploaded first. So you would get the Patreon notification before this one if you want to be early, you know. And I will see you all in the next video. Abracadabra.